焼き鳥って水分を抜く僕らは旨味を磨かないこれもファイトクラブですそれの戦いでなんで焼いても力でも中がジューシーというのは非常に僕ら大事なファクターの一つです We're about to go into Torishiki I am excited but this is the most nervous I've ever been going into a yakitori restaurant here we go This is Yoshiteru Ikegawa, and he is the chef owner of Torishiki. In Japan, Master Ikegawa is referred as a Yakitori Oyakata, meaning father figure. Torishiki and multiple shops around Japan that his disciples have opened, and his sister shop in New York, Torie, are top ranked and continue to receive many awards. One Michelin star Torishiki is the highest ranked Yakitori shop in the world, and it's the most difficult Yakitori restaurant to get a seat as reservations that open up at the beginning of each month get booked within minutes. It's nearly impossible for even those in Japan to get a reservation, so the fact that I'm here is already beyond a dream come true. Five years ago, I was reading and studying from his cookbook, wishing to eat his Yakitori one day. So coming to this restaurant is like setting foot into Holy Yakitori Sanctuary. Today, I got to live that dream and a little bit more. I tried my best to capture every detail this day, and I want to share this experience with you. Here's how it started. I met up with my friend Kubuk-san, who happens to be a long-time guest at Torishiki. His family is a multi-generation tatami maker. <laughs> tatami, if you guys don't know, are Japanese floor mats, and his family is 15-generation tatami. But they pivoted. In addition to making tatami mats, now they have tatami coasters. Beautiful, beautiful Japanese tatami coasters. <laughs> we have an hour and a half until our reservation. I'm excited but also nervous, so we're using this time to learn more about what to expect at this dinner. <laughs> サイレンスっていうかまあサイレンスピリピリしてるんだよねみんな緊張してるはいまっさいけがまさそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ
I know that I'm usually more excited with my reactions when I'm eating yakitori. However, as a longtime admirer of his work, and finally eating here, at this point my mind and body just transcended somewhere else. My brain is working overtime, trying to activate every sensual receptor to understand what's all this happening right now. And because it's nearly impossible to get a seat here, in case I can't come back, I want to record as much as I can. Just like the impact it had on me, I hope you'll be inspired from seeing the top yakitori master in the world in action. Even if I can't describe every small detail, the golden colors to the eyes, the smoky aroma to the nose, the deep flavors to the tongue, and the meaty texture to the mouth, everything just feels perfect and we're just getting started. <laughs> Gizzard is a tough, crunchy organ, so I'm surprised how tender this one is. All that steam you see is because the binchotan heat is penetrating all the way inside, even on this thick piece of gizzard. Torishiki is famous for tsuyobi no chikabi, meaning high heat at close range. Normally, if you cook like this, you'll burn your food, but the unique combination of his grill setup with a strong front side vent, plus his rapid movements, rotating and flipping the skewers constantly, allow it to cook with high amount of infrared heat from the binchotan, penetrating the heat all the way inside without drying out the meat. As a result, chicken meat, which is easy to overcook and dry out, is magically turned into delicious juicy bites, such as this next astonishing skewer that took me by surprise. あ、<笑><笑><笑><笑> I already do it, but Oyakata reminds his guests to make sure to smell the skewers as the chicken fats drip onto the binchotan. It creates a pleasant smoke aroma and flavor that's very different from the familiar notes you get from wood fire based smoke. I was able to smell some black pepper and a toasty oil. Perhaps some sesame oil is brushed on. <laughs> 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 The chicken that's used at Torishiki is called Date Dori from Fukushima. By working with the same chicken for decades, Master Ikegawa understands this ingredient inside and out, allowing him to perfect all the yakitori skewers that can be made using this whole bird. Oyakata is truly a master of chicken. As I eat, I continue to watch closely, hoping to absorb anything I can from the yakitori master. <laughs> ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。ちょっと。はい。
looks so happy there. <laughs> My smile hasn't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Normally for yakitori quail eggs, it's soft boiled first. You don't grill it for too long or else the outside white gets a bit tough to chew. The inside yolk is relatively cool since there's not enough time for the heat to go through. But this one at Torishiki, the outside is soft and hot, and the inside yolk is also hot. The heat has gone through, but the white isn't hard. <laughs> Secret menu? Ah, uh, yes. Mystery menu. Mystery menu. Oh, it's これ、it's 9.35 and the early diners have left, so now I can start filming Master Ikigawa in action. We're still only halfway through our meal, so there's still a lot more to learn. This is a delight to watch myself, and if you're watching this channel for yakitori, hopefully you too will get a kick out of seeing Oyakata's technique and hand movements on the grill. <laughs> Speaking of tare, check out this special technique. As certain skewers get dipped into the tare pot, he's shaking that tare onto the hot bean chotan. This will immediately burn up and create a very roasty smoke for flavor. <laughs> the tare here at Torishiki is on a lighter consistency, but the flavor is deep, enriched by all the skewers that get dipped into it over the years. As his disciples open up their shops, they get a bit of this tare passed down, basically a starter tare, to which they will continue to add new tare to live on at their shops. ご飯は、ま、<笑><笑><笑> 
マシンとかもあるっけマシンがなんか骨じゃなくてその,そのパーツを基礎に巻いたやつをやってねうんでシソムロールっていう感じシソ巻きっていう感じインディスパーツユージュー、ベジタブルオイル、サケ、ショウユー、オリーブオイル、チキンファット、and water。He brushes any combinations of those onto the skewers. The water can also be used to turn down the heat in the grill. If you have not noticed already, Master Ikigawa is constantly moving. Whether it's brushing on the oils, salt and peppering, flipping and rotating the skewers, his movements never seem to stop. Not only that, but compared to most other yakitori chefs, his movements are much faster. It's almost as though the video is sped up about 1.5 times. It's basically as though his yaktori brain is just computing at that much more faster speed than many of us. Plus, he's able to have conversations with his customers, a key component of any yaktori izakaya chef. <laughs> トリシキーズはストップスタイルおまかせ、meaning it's chef's choice until you say stop. The skewers here are so meaty, so I'm starting to slow down a bit. But they're all so delicious, and I want to try everything Oyakata makes, so I'm gonna keep on pushing. Remember earlier I mentioned Torishiki is high heat, close distance with Pinchota. The high infrared heat being so close to the meat and veggies gets it really hot inside. Like flavor and aroma, the hot temperature is also an important sensation and a vital component of a good yakitori. Make sure to eat right away, but also have your ice cold drink ready. <laughs> These colored plastic chips are to keep track of what you ordered for your bill. Ikigasan trained at Toriyoshi, so this counting method and some of the skewer styles and the naming have direct lineage learned from there. The chicken skewers are magical here at Torishiki, but I'm also fascinated with all the vegetables. It's the unassuming and simple skewers like this shiitake is what really sets apart between something that's simply grilled on fire for the sake of cooking with some char versus this that's masterfully grilled to uplift the unique characteristics of the base ingredient. I told Oyakata that I had the best broccoli of my life at Torien, his location in New York, headed by his disciple Hideo san. He then said, Wait till you try my broccoli. 
At which point, I felt like he switched it up another gear to reveal his ultimate powers. Like a hero from an anime unleashing his true strength and techniques, I felt something which I can only describe as a master's aura. I'm really not sure, I think it lasted about 5 minutes, but there is so much movement, so much happening. The fan action, different oils being brushed on, the charcoal and skewers being moved around constantly, rotating, flipping, switching back and forth, and that's all I was able to capture with my current knowledge base about yakitori grilling. I can only imagine that there must be so much small nuances that only Ikigawa-san knows and does. I watch carefully and hope that I can decipher even one little bit. There's so much attention and work that went into this broccoli skewer that many multi-ingredient entree dish at a restaurant will not even come close to what we're seeing here. <laughs> Not that I didn't see it or taste it already, but at this point is when it truly cemented to me why he is at the top of yakitori in the world. It's <laughs> ビデオさんには申し訳ないんですけど、自分は一緒。はい。はい。<笑><笑> 
焼いても仕掛けてもなんかがジューシーと非常に僕ら大事なパターンの一つです、はい、それはすごいこう今日の印象的に残ったインパクトがそれなんですよ、はい、柏の、うん、みずみずしさがあの肉製の油は鶏の油だけですか、うん、そうですね鶏の油だけですあの牛肉とかポークとかって鶏とかやっぱり鶏の親父なんで、はいはい、やっぱりこの鶏というものに、はい、これまあ鴨を使ったことがあったんですけどでも今はもう鶏の本当に親友というか、はい、そこだけですこんな親子丼食べたことないよ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>嬉<笑>しい<笑>どうしたロサンゼルスロサンゼルスに前までサンフランシスコのカラーを使ってたんですけど<笑>ロスイエスこれが大きいんだねうわあそこの中に上がっちゃった The big reason why Ikegawa san is the oyakata the godfather to yaktori Is a fact that he's widely known as always working on ways to cultivate the next generation of yakitori chefs and fans. Everything I experienced today inspires me to keep pushing my yakitori dreams forward. Wow! 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 We left Torishiki after midnight, making it to the last train at a Meguro station, but not in time for my second connecting train. So I ended up walking 15 minutes from Shibuya station to my hotel in Roppongi, but it was totally worth it to have that quiet time with Oyakata Ikegawa san. Thank you, Oyakata, for a memorable meal, and thanks to Kuwok san for setting up tonight's dinner. Just like every skier I had, the whole experience was magical and just felt like a dream. Next day, I woke up near noon to enjoy some more Torishiki. Let's keep this Yakturi dream going. I'm here in Japan for six weeks and eating Yakturi almost every day. Make sure to subscribe and follow along this playlist to see more about what makes Yakturi in Japan so amazing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.